I'm, I'm, I'm in the newly formed uh, Occupy Chicago Gender Equity Committee. Um, I'm also with um, the International Socialist Organization here in Chicago. So I wanted to say a few words on behalf of, of that organization. Um, I think it's important that we contextualize this action um, since we're, you know, the few but the loud out here um, standing in opposition to the bigotry behind us. Um, but it's important to contextualize this action to understand the fight that we're going to be, like, you know, entering into in the coming year. And to understand that, we have to look at what we saw last year. You know, last year we saw an unprecedented attack on working class and poor women's reproductive freedoms. You know, and it was shocking that the levels um, of, of these attacks, like the forms that they took, and it took a lot of people who have been in this fight um, by surprise. It took a lot of people, um, you know, caught them off guard, but people were able to rapidly, rapidly organize and, um, and to, you know, unite against these horrible attacks. We saw Republicans and Democrats alike were just as committed to waging a full war on women and on the poor. Um, we saw them reach across those aisles and be bipartisan in their attacks on our bodily autonomy, on our reproductive freedom. And from these disgusting attempts, like the attempts to criminalize, criminalize miscarriage, the attempts to defund Planned Parenthood, um, and the betrayal of the Stupak Amendment, I mean, we really saw the lengths at which they would go um, to, to try to silence us and to try to take away these hard-earned um, gains that we had won and that we have fought. Um, women and their allies truly found their common enemy last year, and we saw we saw what that looked like, and that's the government of the 1%, you know, and, and we truly saw the links that they would go to. I got lots to say. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw, we, we did, we saw that both parties um, and their financiers um, try and in some cases succeed at rolling back the clock on the gains that people like you and me actually fought and won for uh, and won decades previously. Um, we're doing actions like these and we will continue to do actions like these so that the 1% doesn't feel comfortable anywhere they go, anywhere they go and try to yeah. sow these bigoted roots. We want them to know that we will continue to do actions like these to remind them that they will not silence our voices and that we will not concede to their bigotry. Just yesterday, I don't know if people saw this, but just yesterday, a legislator in North Carolina is now calling for a return to lynching for rapists, murderers, and abortion providers. Okay, came out, said that he's going to be working real hard in his legislative body to bring back lynching to abortion providers. Okay, how disgusting, how insidious. Thank you. 